brother, okay? Bring home a cool dude. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, you are really I, I cannot even. I can't even. I, I just got my my stuff over here. Let's see. Oh. That pulls out into a bed. This is the worst one. My butt. Heavy in your butt? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. What's, What's up, Party Fam? Today is literally one of the most exciting days of our entire life. We got a call this morning from our doctor that we have a time slot to come in and get induced oh, yeah. for our baby boy. He's coming whether we like it or not. You are over excited. I was freaking out. <laughs> um, I'm so excited. It's 1.30 p.m. We have to be at the hospital by 5 p.m. And we have a lot still to do. We do. And it's an hour drive to get to the hospital. Yeah. And so I don't know we what we're doing like, sitting here. We have like two hours. <laughs> yeah. Two hours to eat, go shopping real fast, get a car seat. Get a car seat. First off, we need off a car crazy. seat to bring the baby home, the doll and like then her. have this baby. Like so yeah, we gotta go. We're gonna go at Chipotle. We're going to Target. We might stop in the mall, and then we're going home. I gotta give my mom the full rundown on everything. Get the kids set up. We gotta pick up groceries, pack our bag, hospital bags. It's gonna be a lot. Let's do it. Oh, you know what I forgot. Forks. Daddy, I got a fork. Riker, say hi. <laughs> That's my lemonade. It's so beautiful. It's a perfect day to go to the hospital. The perfect day to go to the hospital. In classic Hardik fashion, we are running extremely behind. We ended up going to the mall and shopping because Derek needed some cute hospital outfits. He even got a pair of shoes. Um, I think they're Nike Air Force Ones. Anyways, we have to leave in less than 10 minutes and we're gonna pack our suitcase right now. Let's do it because we ain't got time for nothing else. My mom is here. Going home outfits, undies, bras. I did not. Did you not look at what you buy? I didn't open it up. I opened it up in the store and I don't know. <laughs> Why did you say something? I didn't open it up all the way. All right, guys, check out the shirt. It's the whitest shirt I've ever You're seen in my life. You're gonna have to turn that, dude. There's I'm gonna no try way. it on, but this is a large, but it looks like an extra, extra. Large. Why is it so wide? I'm ready. Got the diaper bag. I need to charge my phone. Um, we're going to the hospital, and we will have lots of time to figure out what's going on and give you guys an update. Derek, hurry up, please. All right, I'm leaving the kids with my mom for the night. This feels so cool. And her dog, Lola. Sissy has some extra Chipotle if she wants it. Mommy. There's not much schedule aside from school, you know? Baseball. I mean, he has practice tomorrow night. He doesn't have to go. So if he can skip gymnastics. What? I'm sure the baby will be here tomorrow afternoon, so. I'm gonna bring home your baby mm. brother, okay? I'm gonna bring home a cool dude. Oh, Lola wants some gloves too. I love you. you have a good night with Momo, okay? Baby. I love you. Say bye to the belly. You'll yeah. never see it again. Be good for Momos. We're gonna have a cool little dude with us here soon. Getting it packed? Yep. Ugh. Our car seat. <laughs> Just in the back there. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. There's a Lincoln in front of us. We don't have an oh, well, we don't have a name picked out for the baby, but Lincoln is one of the names. I don't know if I'll keep this in the video if we go with it. Um so maybe that was a sign that we should name him Lincoln. Or maybe it's a sign not to name. Why would that be a sign not to? Because there's a bunch of cars here that are named Lincolns. You're naming them after. There the are car. a lot. If we see another one. It's a sign not to. <laughs> How about that? This place is nice. This is nice. It's really pretty. There it is. B elevator. B is, B is for baby boy. <laughs> no, they have like a cute little courtyard here. Long this hospital is like really secure and it's really great for um, like labor and delivery. I heard the nurses here are amazing. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, you are literally the I, person. I cannot even, I can't even, I can't even. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I love our room. It's huge. I'm like freaking this is out. A nice big room. This is huge. There's like nobody here. All the nurses were like so nice and we're just like, they were excited. They're like, oh yay. They're all excited, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay. It looks like they're kind of a little bored today, so you're gonna make it fun for them. I think so. Um, I got my hospital gown. I'm gonna get changed. I'm gonna let Derek give you guys a little room tour. You should hurry up and get changed because she's gonna come back and you're oh. gonna be naked. All right, okay. quick tour. First off, one of my favorites is the board. Where, where you write the patient's name and the baby's name and everything else, which is really cool. Anyways, so we have the delivery bed. And, oh, this is my other favorite part. Look at this. The baby spot. Look, oh, it's all warm already. It feels nice. All for the baby. All right, so look at this nice big room. We need some lights in here, but got a big, nice bathroom here for Ashley. Baby monitor. Now look, outside we have a nice little courtyard. Okay, give us an update, Mama, what we got? I kind of want to stop you real fast okay. because that was fast. They Guys. rushed. Like, are you about to have a baby or something? We literally got here and it's like zero to 100. We thought we were gonna do the Cervidil, which is like the ripening for 12 hours. We thought we were gonna be chilling till tomorrow. My water is broken. They came in, I was a four. My doctor was already here, she broke my water, and we're sitting in the throne position right now. <laughs> Literally Why just see your throne position? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, just waiting for the baby to come now. Like, we're just waiting for contractions to start. Uh, what else? I have Pitocin going, like a little bit. Uh, fluids, because the baby's heart rate was a little elevated, but I did have a cookie before he came, like a big cookie. So, yeah. And we're going to increase Pitocin every 30 minutes. Check me in an... This is a contraction. You're contracting right yeah, now? Yeah, I am. We're going to check my Wait, dilation in three hours. Let's look at your contraction. Yeah, I'm having a contraction. I can feel oh, this one's a little more. You can't more. see it very well. Our contraction. So there's a contraction there. There's a contraction there. Gosh, I'm messing this up. Yeah, look at it. Oh, I can't see it yet. I'll see it in a second. Yeah, we originally thought that he would be born tomorrow, February 26th, but it looks like he might be born February 25th, which I actually love that date better. You do? It's literally Riker's birthday's the 20th, Presley's the 30th, and this one's on the 25th. That is cool. Right in the middle? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. Today's also Bella's birthday, our chihuahua. Bella! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Gosh, this is just crazy. Like, they break your water, and I just feel like I'm peeing, like, all over the place. Yeah, we keep changing the towel. I know. It's all I over just, the place. I'm weird about that kind of stuff. I don't like it to be, like, wet. Let's see your your belly. The contractions. One last look at the bumps. So we're managing the baby's heart rate. I think this is the contraction counter. And... I don't know. I'm still at the he's point. He's on this side. He's literally there, laying if I over here. This way, you can definitely see the bulge. I'm still at the point where I don't know quite when I'm contracting. Like they're not painful yet, which I guess is good. But the nurse was like, "Let me know if you feel like you need to push or you feel it heavy down there." I'm like, "It means it's coming." That means I don't have time for the epidural. <laughs> I don't have time for the doctor. The good thing is they have an anesthesiologist on site. So we'll be able to get that done if we have time. So, right. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> no, you're fine. How are you feeling? Oh, the lighting's good on you. I'm feeling good. I just got my my stuff over here. Let's see. Oh. That pulls out into a bed. I probably won't use it. I think I'll just sleep on here, but. Yeah, I, I don't even think we'll be sleeping. Oh yeah, probably not. But it's a little weird because we have our own, uh, our own blankets and pillows. Yeah. And she was like, "You don't want them in here because it's a little bloody." Yeah, she's it's like, "Take that, dirty. take that <laughs> to like, the oh, postpartum." God. That's why I told you that. this is like a we're in cert not surgery but we're in surgery. This is more intense. I'm 
I'm ready. I feel like. Hike them out. <laughs> Come on, let's go, baby. Oh my gosh, how are you feeling now? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me your emotions. Good. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. You are? Yeah, I think everybody's gonna be a little nervous. Nervous for the baby, nervous for me, nervous for yourself. Both of you. I'm really nervous for myself. I'm more nervous just about you guys. I know this is my third time, but it feels like my first. I feel like I don't even remember the first two. Yeah. I just don't like how medical medical it all is. Yeah. This feels very like medical and that medical. stuff freaks me out, you know? Like all the wires and I can totally see the allure for home births because it's like you're just you're doing it yourself, yeah. you're free. This all feels like I can't move. Like I have to lay here in bed. You're locked in. They told you a couple of times you can stand up I and know, walk around, but, but why are you able She to said that she wants me to rest to get the baby's heart rate down. Oh, that's, I was wondering why. So your heart, the baby's heart rate's up right now. Yeah. Because I thought Cookie was a while thing. ago. <laughs> it was huge. You ate the whole thing? Presley had some. Presley <laughs> takes tiny little ant bites. Yeah, I think we'll have this baby Let's let's guess the time that we have him. I'm gonna go well, with. It is almost seven. It's only seven. Seven seven fifty right now. I'm gonna say ten thirty six p.m. Well, that's a good number. We will have a baby boy. I'm gonna say nine thirty. Nine thirty two. Nine thirty two. Ten thirty six. Why? I bet it's coming soon. Well, because you're having contractions pretty regularly right now. Because they don't hurt. But they don't hurt. But, but I'm already a four. You're already a four. They already broke your water. You're on Pitocin. She's going to keep bumping it up. I don't know. I feel like three hours is a long time. No. Done. Oh, oh my God. I can't it. believe that's our baby boy in there. And soon he'll be right here. It's still weird to add another. I know. It's not family. even real. <laughs> it's not even real. I don't even know this person. <laughs> We're going to get to know him real fast. I know. Oh, my God. How are you feeling right now? I just feel like anxious, like to just do it. I don't like, I feel like, you know, when they're relying on me to tell us how you're feeling, are you in pain? Are you, do you feel like pushing? Like, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> you tell me when to push, you they, know? Well, they don't know, cause they're they not feeling it. I just don't like being like in charge of it all. Cause what if I'm, what if I, I don't know. You just don't know. I'm also mostly afraid that I'm going to miss my window to get an epidural. That I'm would getting be bad. contraction too. It's probably moving down. Getting oh in God. position. Okay. We'll come back with a little uh, update here and like, we'll update you guys hourly probably. Update. Uh huh? When's the last time we updated? Okay, so send us, give us an update, Mom. How are you feeling? We have the epidural. I can still feel the contractions. My pain level's at like a two. The shakes that I have makes it a three because I can't like relax and breathe through the contractions. Your legs shaking. are even shaking. Can you feel your legs shaking? Yeah. I just feel uncomfortable. I, I thought the epidural, I'd feel like- Your body is shaking bad. Comfortable. Will you Google? Your shivers were crazy. If epidurals, get stronger over time or is it stay consistent that's what i want to know mm -hmm. uh, oh the three this is the worst one i'm sorry mama i was thinking it's gonna be the best oh, you're too. doing so good i thought so too this is not fun okay. you look good <sighs> i just wanted to be over you know when the nurse walks out for a while, that means that you're gonna be going into intense pain for a while. Why, really? Contractions. She, she they don't wanna be in here when you're contracting. So you can go through your methods of support. Oh. It's just heavy in my butt. It's heavy in your butt? Yeah. Everyone counts. Just one really. step closer. No, it does. Just one step closer.